So what could have caused this disaster on a bridge some say was state of the art? Jen Holloway continues our team coverage with an exclusive interview with a structural engineer. So everybody's asking, just why did this multi-million dollar project that was supposed to be so safe collapse? And should these pedestrian passovers be made of concrete or made of steel? One local expert gives us a little bit of insight. Engineer Barry Smith suspects the FIU bridge collapsed because of something called sheer failure. Quite simply, a lack of adequate support. The north side looks as though it just sheared on that bottom, bottom platform and it just fell to the, to the ground and as that fell, the rest of the bridge fell with it. Unlike pedestrian crosswalks in Tampa Bay, like the one here over Fowler, connecting USF and Mosey, constructed with steel segments, the one in Miami was built with precast concrete segments. So is one better than the other? Each has its benefits. Concrete is much less expensive, but that certainly doesn't make it a problematic material. It weighs a lot more, so it induces what we call a dead load and the bridge itself needs to be able to resist that dead load. Smith says sometimes concrete is a better option considering our humid Florida environment. Steel is very good, but in a, in a Miami type of environment, steel has a lot of corrosion issues and um, steel goes through fatigue processes a little bit different. Each one is a very good material for building, but it all comes down to proper design and proper actual construction. Smith says it's likely this tragedy in the long run will lead to better engineering and improve the checks and balances system that's used by the Florida Department of Transportation. So but for now, so many questions. What did go wrong? All right. Thank you, Jen. Mm -hmm.